we're here now with an extraordinary actress who took center stage in Flashdance, one of the most famous dance scenes of all time that went on to star in the groundbreaking show, The L Word. And now that show is back and she has never gone away. Give it up for Jennifer Beals, who's here with us. Thank you. Hi, thank, thank you. you. I'm so happy. <laughs> It was six incredible seasons, so mm -hmm. successful, and fans were clamoring and saying, will it come back? What did that kind of endless support mean? Well, it means everything. Our, our uh, L Word fans are the best fans in the world. They're mm -hmm. so um, supportive, and, and when they come up to you to, and rec recognize you from the show, they, they really wear their hearts on their sleeves, and right. invariably they, there's a coming out story involved or mm -hmm. how the show helped them, and, and it just means a lot to me. They're really, really great set of fans. And some of those fans you're now working with on the show, I both know, as actors and behind the scenes. So what does it mean to work together like that? Um, it's really exciting. Uh, we have a whole new um, cast of characters. There's right. a, uh, a new generation, really, mm -hmm. that's come in. And a lot of those actors had watched the show, and it had meant a lot to them. And some of them actually watched it in secret. They didn't let their parents know that they were watching wow. the show because they hadn't come out yet. Uh, and now it's their turn to be of service to the next generation. That's so, so true. Really That's lovely. so true. It is lovely coming full circle yes, like yeah. that. And in the first, the first go around, and it's, I've seen the first episode of the second of the of the of the coming back. You guys always push the envelope. Mm. You know, you about issues that are so important. And the the first time it was about uh, marriage equality and right, uh, right. don't ask, don't tell. So right. what about? this time around well now you know what's so interesting you know when we went off the air there was no same-sex marriage and and now it's 10 years later and we've come so far and we now have this new generation who wants to define themselves who isn't going to let somebody tell them what their gender identity is what their sexual orientation mm. should be and you get to have these conversations where you know, you have a whole generation that ch changed how we use pronouns, even. And, True. And so we get to talk about that. We have a more inclusive and diverse cast, and uh, it's really, it's really exciting. It's a great show. I tell you, I love your storyline. Uh, Bet is running for mayor of <laughs> Los Angeles in the show. Yes, she is. <laughs> and <laughs> Bet Porter, as you'll see in this clip, she's going to shake things up. Take a look. Our only interest here is finding the best person to run this city. And we believe that person is you. I'm not buying what you're selling. Our current mayor bought it. I'm not him. Oh, I know. That's, that's it, that's it. And there's a whole monologue that comes after that that's oh. really like the, the mm. turn of the night. You, you gotta watch it. And good. that's Arian Mandy, who's really wonderful. She plays Danny. She's mm -hmm. really fantastic. And Brian Mitchell, who plays uh, my assistant. Right. They're new. Assistant. They're new. Yes. Your former co-stars are back. Some of yes. them are back. Yes. yes. Keisha and that. Yes. So what's, what's it like to be back with them? And, it's and like how you stayed in touch over the years. Yes. Yeah. We're all yeah. Uh, very close friends. And it's just like being back with your family, really. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're all executive producers on the show, and so it's been really wonderful to have some uh, amount of agency in terms of, you know, casting and how the show is running. Yeah, it's great to see Kate and Alicia. Oh, my God. I know, to see you guys yes, together no, like that. Yes, fantastic. It's really fun. Oh, okay. It is Thursday. Can we do a little flashback Thursday? <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. I mean, <laughs> can you... Mm. What? What, what do you think it is about Flashdance that even after all these years that it's one of those movies that no matter what you're, where you are, you sit down and you watch it. You just cannot get enough, no matter you know what. what. I think it's so aspirational. Like you're watching somebody pursue their dream. Yeah. And I think that's applicable to so many people. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just telling you, um, I, I, I'm not going to do it because I, I would, I'm afraid that they're going to splash water at me if I do something like that. But yeah. bless you and thank you for sharing your talents with us and continuing and bringing back the L Word. We do appreciate that. Okay, I'm back at you. Thank you thank so you. much. And the L Word, ooh, Generation X, Q, excuse Q. me, Generation Q, they got it going on premieres this Sunday, December 8th on Showtime. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.